Hello everyone! Welcome on how to attract new customers and different ways to do so. Ricky Funk here with The Funk Group. Just to give you a little bit of background, I own my own cleaning business in this beautiful state of Florida. We've been in business for about three years and I believe the secret to our success has been automation and systems. Now I'm, I'm super excited that you decided to, to be with us today. First of all, you're ahead of everyone else because you decided to be at the summit today. Plus, you're eager to learn and move forward with your business. You could be taking a nap, watching TV, but you decided to spend some time with us, so kudos to you. Today, I want you to walk away with at least three things from this talk. Number one, Facebook ads and more specifically, lookalike audiences. It's get ready because lookalike audiences it's magic. Number two, Google local services. And why is it better than Google AdWords and probably every third party service out there? And lastly, number three, networking and how to have fun in social events. And especially if you're a shy person, I'll give you my side of things and how I was able to, to accomplish that. Let me start by making sure that you're asking the right question. Because a lot of time you, you just get the wrong answer just because we, we, we ask the wrong question. If you're thinking about marketing, about you know what's the best single way to attract new customers, wrong. There is no single way. What you need to do is create streams of lead generation systems just in case one of them fails you still have you know, other two or three systems that still bring you new clients. You don't want just one thing, because if that stops working, you're done. Finding an, a good marketing strategy is crucial for your success. And again, don't, don't think just what's the best way to market your business. Think about different ways to market your business. So what, what the way that I structured this is I'm gonna briefly talk about these different systems and I'll do a demo so I can show you at least for a little bit uh, what it looks like. Now, let, let's talk about Facebook ads. Face, Facebook ads are amazing when you use them right. If you're just boosting random posts, stop. Don't, don't keep doing that, stop it. You're just burning money away. What you should be doing is using the Facebook Business Manager. And now, th this is a free suite of tools that will let you understand how Facebook ads work. And that's what Facebook ads is all about. Sometimes you might have to try five different images, uh, four different content, you know, uh, six different texts, uh, call to action. You, you have to try all these different things, see how people react, see what works the best. And, and create that final killer ad that will bring you a lot of customers. But you have to try things. Now, there is a secret weapon, and this is what I wanna mostly talk to you about today, and that's lookalike audience. Lookalike audience is just a way to reach new customers that are likely to be interested in your business. And the, the way that Facebook knows this is because uh, they behave similar to your current customers. Let me put it in simple terms. Imagine that you can say, hey Facebook, go find me new customers that are likely to acquire my services. Sounds great, doesn't it? You might be asking yourself, how is Facebook able to know what, what my customers like? Well, what Facebook does, uh, they create a profile of every single person. Even with you, you know, every time you, you click uh, and you play Candy Crush, they, they, they have that data point. Now, I do recommend always uh, to understand a bit more about this, uh, to watch a movie called Brexit and explains how powerful Facebook is. Because basically they have uh, hundreds, if not thousands of data points about your behavior, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, all this different stuff. They create a profile for every single user. So that's how they're able to say, okay, this current customer or this person that visited your page and interacted with your Facebook page, with your website, whatever it is, uh, behaves this certain way. Let me find someone that behaves in a similar way and show them your ad. 
and the way that they can actually see who visits your website and, and start profiling these people is by a piece of code called Pixel and that's something that you need to install on your website. It's super simple, super easy. It's just a few lines. You put it on your website. That's it. It connects to Facebook and that's it. Now, once Facebook learns about them and knows uh, your current customers or your, the people that visit your website, the people that interacted with your Facebook page, now Facebook can go and say, okay, let me find people like that and let me show them your ad. And it works. I gotta tell you, lookalike audience, it works. All right, let's do a quick demo and I'll show you about the Facebook Business Manager and I'm gonna show you about lookalike audience. Hello and welcome to the Facebook Business Manager. As you can see, it doesn't look like a scary monster, right? Um, and the best way to get used to is just start playing with it. It's free. You can sign up for free. It uses your Facebook account and, and start watching videos and see all the different things that you can use. Now, today I do want to talk about the lookalike audience because it does involve a couple of different concepts that you should know. Now, um, all I did, I went to uh, business.facebook.com and I'll probably uh, display it right on the bottom. And if you go to the this uh, menu thingy right here, uh, it's called audiences. And that's where you create your audience. Basically, what you do is create an audience, meaning people that you want to show your ad to. Okay, so lookalike audience so in order to create a lookalike audience meaning i want to show my ad to uh to new customers that look like my current customers or look like this specific set of customers we need to create that source right so before we create a lookalike we need to create a custom audience so i'm gonna go ahead and, and click on create custom audience and now okay here's this is the fun part so we have different sources. So we can create a, a custom audience of people that visited our website. We can also create, and I'll go through the most probably used ones. We can upload a current customer list and, and create an audience for our current customers list. Maybe you wanna show an ad to current customers that, um, I don't know, about some specific offer. Maybe you added a new service. You know, now you do uh, bottle washing or window washing and you want to show it to your current customers on Facebook. If they have a Facebook account, you can do that. So at this point, remember, we're not creating a lookalike audience. We just creating custom audiences. So it will be uh, uh, people that visited your website. So if you want to retarget and that's, you know, that term that you keep hearing all the time and <laughs> I didn't even know what it was, you know, probably about a year ago when I started getting into marketing. So retargeting is, you know, people visit your website and they go uh, about their life. You know, when, when you're trying to buy something and you start seeing it everywhere, well, this is how it works. So you can create a custom audience of people that visit your website. So now you can start target, targeting those people on Facebook and show them your ad. Okay, so if you, if you uploaded a video, you can target people that watch your video to a certain percent, percentage and you can choose all that. People that um, interacted with your Facebook page. And this is this is why I always tell people, don't don't ask for fake likes to other business owners. You know, oh, come and like my page. No, you want people that actually want your services. So then you can actually go ahead and do this. Use it to your advantage uh, with Facebook ads. So, okay, let's... Uh, Let's do, uh, let's see, uh, website. Let's do people that, that visit our website. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, that red dot, it's because I don't have the, uh, um, the pixel installed on, on the phone group website. I don't think I actually, I used to have one. I don't really care about website anymore for the phone group, so you don't have to worry about that. But you'll see a green light once you install the pixel. And the pixel, let me just exit real quick. You install it from the events manager right here. Again, you just follow directions. All right, so let's go back to the website. So I'm going to create a custom audience for uh, font group. Uh, so all website visitors in the last 30 days. Okay, so that's my custom audience. And I'm going to name it website 30 days because you can create uh, 
Let me just do that in caps. You can create uh, different uh, uh, custom audiences, so you want to make sure you understand which one, which one is which. So display a name that makes sense to you, and I'm gonna go ahead and create an audience. So that's it. So now we have a custom audience for people that visited uh, our website in the last 30 days, and you can go back and create another custom audience. Let's do a Facebook page. So, you know, they, they, everyone who engaged with your page in the last uh, 360 days. All right. So, and you can do maybe the last 30 days to make sure that you present it to a, to an audience that actually warm, you know, warm leads. Uh, so I'll do a website. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Facebook page. 365 days. There you go. So create audience. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna click on done. I could click directly on create lookalike, but I just wanna show you, you know, that now you have a list and that's how easy it is. Now I created two custom audiences and when I go ahead and create my ad, it's gonna ask me uh, if I wanna use custom audiences and I can actually show it to these set of audiences. So I can choose, you know, I wanna show my ad to uh, the last, uh, 30 days, uh, the last 30 days of people that visited my website. So now let's get into the lookalike. So I'm going to create audience, lookalike audience. Okay. And here's where we choose. So at number one is going to ask me the source. So who do you want these people to look like? So I'm going to uh, do three. Oh, right here. So I could create the custom audience from here and always there are different ways that you can actually do things. But if you click right here on the empty text field and you click on other sources, now I, I get all these different uh, options and I'm going to see my custom audience. So let's say I want to show it to, you know, the, the people that interacted with my Facebook page. That's it. All I did again, I, I click on the empty text field, other sources. And I click on that. That's it. So um, select audience locations. We, we're gonna do the United States. Okay, and the percentage. So the the uh, the bigger you go, you see the estimated reach keeps going up. The less uh, people are gonna look like those customers. So I would keep it at one percent. And you can try it. You can try different things. You can try. Let me try it between uh, one and two percent. Again, the, the broader you go, the less they're going to look like you actual people that visited your website or your Facebook page in this case. So now we chose uh, 1% and here's the information. So 1% of United States Facebook page, 365 days. And all I have to do is just create audience. And that's it. So it's going to name it for you as a lookalike audience. So now you know that um, basically when, when you go and create that ad, you can choose that audience and it's going to what Facebook is going to do again. It's going to go and look for people that look like the people that visited your Facebook page and it's going to show them your ad. So let's say you want to create a lookalike audience for um, the last uh, 30 days for of people that visited your website. Again, create audience, lookalike audience. Click on the empty text field other sources, uh, website, 30 days. And this is why I was telling you, you know, make sure that you put a name that makes sense to you. Uh, location, let's do United States again. And let's do, just for the hell of it, let's do one to 2%. So you just create audience. And that's it. So that's how you create a lookalike audience. So now all you have to do is create, well, you have to do most of the job now, which is uh, go ahead and create a new ad. And whenever you have to uh, select the audience, you can actually select that custom audience and you can select people that visited your website in the last 30 days, or you can actually select people that look, looks like uh, the people that visited your website in the last 30 days. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't forget to reach out. 
Let's talk about Google Local Services. So why not uh, Google AdWords? Why not SEO? And, and don't get me wrong, you can do all three if you want, or you can do two of them, but at least you should be doing lo Google Local Services. I think it's right at number one. And, and let me explain why. So let's say that you're looking for a cleaning services, right? You're looking for a company to come and clean your house and you do a Google search, you know, clean, clean services in my area. So if you're using Google local services, you gotta be right on top. Before even uh, paid Google AdWords, before um, SEO, organic uh, results, you gotta be right on top. And not just that, you're gonna have a Google guarantee badge. Uh, and that's something that that's, brings a lot of value. You know, when people see that, they know they can trust your business because not everyone can get to that point. In order to get the Google Guarantee Badge, you have to actually pass a, a screening, you have to pass an interview. It's not, it's not as simple as just paying for a service and that's it. And the good thing about uh, Google Guarantee is that if it, you're actually backed by Google and if someone hires your services and is not happy with the uh, quality, uh, Google will, will actually help, uh, will help them with up to, uh, I believe it's $2,000. So it, it does bring a lot of uh, you know peace and, and and a feeling that okay I'm, I'm hiring a company that is not just you know the guy down the road you know this this is an actual business. You might be asking yourself, well I use Home Advisor or Thumbtack or Bark you know what, what's the difference? It's it's all the same. Well, as opposed to those services, there is no middleman. It's so the way it works is when they search for you or search for a cleaning service and they see your, your business, they click on call and they're going to call you directly. There is no middleman. A uh, home advisor will probably uh, and, and other services will send your lead to, you know, uh, maybe 10 different businesses, not just you. This is just someone looking for, for a cleaning service. They see your business and they call you directly. There is no middleman at all. Now the pricing, I believe it, it changes uh, depending on, on, on the service and depends on, on location, but you're gonna end up paying between 20 and $25 per phone call. Now, if any of those phone calls are not related to what you do or not related to the location that you're at, you can ask for a credit back and then I gotta tell you, every single time that we ask for a credit back, we got it. All right, let's do a second demo and I'll show you a bit around Google Local Services, the different uh, settings that you can change, services that you can choose, budget and, and all that. Okay, welcome to Google Local Services. Now, it's a good thing that I decided to do this demo because I realized that I, I actually turned off my, uh, my ad um, at the end of the last month so it hasn't run at all for July. I mean, you still can get calls because people will look you up on, on Google, but it's not it's not gonna be as a, as a Google guarantee business. So I went ahead and turned it on back again. So I just wanted to quickly show you a couple of different things. Um, so budget, you can set the budget that you want. So if you change this to a weekly, you know, 100, it's going to update how many leads so you can either update by leads or you can update by money whatever works for you usually i would leave it at 400 a week so it's going to spend up to that money it doesn't mean that it's going to spend it all so you can actually uh change by job types if you just want offices or if you want a standard clean deep clean moving clean you can turn it off and turn it on as you uh, as you please so I, I always encourage to update pictures uh, so you can change based on on location and so business hours business hours are very important because what you can do is you can show your ad only during your business hours and the way that I see it is if I'm gonna pay 20 to 25 dollars per phone call I need to pick up that phone when it rings so we always leave it at just uh, during business hours. I mean, it, it's that simple. First, you have to get in, you have to apply, you have to do a background check and, and all that. Once you have it, I highly recommend it. I think it works great. Okay, we're almost there. Good job. Now, uh, lastly, let, let's talk about networking. 
Originally, my idea was to actually go to an event and, and do a bit of recording, but unfortunately, because of the virus, you know, we're, things change, uh, but hopefully, eventually, it will go back to that normal. I'm a shy person, okay? And, and at, fer at first, I was terrified. I was terrified about going out and meeting with people that I didn't know and have to talk to them about my business and, and, and sell and blah, blah, blah. And once I realized that it wasn't like that at all, you know, this, uh, <clears throat> there are networking events that will help you gain more customers, will help you uh, get your name out there in the community. Um, I mean, there are tons. Two that I would recommend uh, are probably uh, your local chamber of commerce. Uh, we meet once a month. And second, uh, BNI. BNI, it's a, it's a business owners association that you meet every week, very early, early in the morning. And now the trick is that you don't have to go and sell to them. The trick is that you have to get go and get to know them and they have to get to know you. They have to trust you. They have to trust your business. You have, they have to trust that you, you got to take care of their customers. So let's say you go and clean a house and someone says, oh man, I really have to paint that wall. That, that wall back there doesn't look as good. So now you can say, you know what? I'm, I'm a member of a business owner's association. And I recommend you to, to a guy that paints houses and he does a great job. But to, okay, that's what you would say to a client and that's what someone else would say to their client about you. Now, to get to that point, to get to that point they have to get to know you and, and you have to be there and you have to be honest and you have to be open. And once you, you, you learn that these people are there for the same reason that you are because they wanna grow their business in, in, a, in a good way, Everything, everything else, you know, the shyness and, and <laughs> all that just goes away. We reached the end. I hope that you did learn something new today. Don't forget to reach out if you have any questions. Ricky Funk is the name. Business is the game. Until the next one.